Although GW School of Media and Public Affairs is known for its journalism and political communication programs, the building also houses one of the nation's top documentary film centers. Um, our students have opportunities to work on these projects, to discuss the creative process, to pick up a camera and, and take the, uh, the charge at the technology and, and really the creative expression that, that, film, uh, that film allows. Unlike traditional two-year film schools, the Documentary Center offers an intensive six-month program for graduate students and a six-week program for emerging filmmakers who want to showcase their movies at the international level people from Uzbekistan and Somalia and Cambodia and just the mo Nepal, just the most amazing filmmakers that you would ever want to meet. Recently, the Documentary years, Center celebrated its 20th material, anniversary with the screening of CV's new film, Fourth and Goal, which follows the story of several young men trying to make it to the NFL. The rise of social media outlets has helped popularize documentary filmmaking. Documentary has become sort of so common because of you know YouTube and people wanting to tell stories that documentary has become almost sort of it's it's actually sort of surpassed parts of journalism as a way of communicating ideas however the rising demand for documentaries isn't enough to promote the center to GW students although the documentary film center is internationally acclaimed for films like the matador Many students on campus don't even know what it is and wouldn't be able to point out its location on the fifth floor of SMPA. I don't know about the documentary film center. Um, wild guess, I think the film center would be in the Marvin Center. I think the documentary film center sounds really interesting and it would be great to get the word out. CV hopes to expand the program to the undergraduate level, which will help bring awareness of the center to prospective students. For The Source, this is Kimberly Wortman and Nicole Capo.